Freeport High School in Freeport, Illinois, the Pretzel Stadium. They use it multi-purpose, obviously, for their football, their soccer, track, and other things. We just completed a Atlas IED system, stadium horns, and drivers, and the whole electronics behind us here. We are putting in a new sound system for our stadium. Our last summer we did the gymnasium, and this summer we're doing the stadium. And it was it was an easy choice to pick what we're going to do for stadium because it works out really well for the gymnasium. You know, the whole system, once you get a couple under your belt and get moving with them, the whole process and the whole flow of how everything works together with Atlas, you know, helping with the design and that, it's a pretty simple uh, format. Yeah, basically a couple of the design challenges we had here was the stadium and the actual seating is very intimate and tight to the actual field, so we had to make sure we kept the sound down into the field without projecting it out too far into the neighborhood, basically. So with a couple different models of the Atlas Stadium horns, we were able to achieve that with long throw over the visitor's side and some short throw down tight into the actual home bleacher area. With the H-Series Stadium horns that we utilized here, we were able to use them on a flat roof situation with some Unistrut and basically bracket them down, use some eighth inch safety cables on the back to help tension and secure. Pretty straightforward, basically it's a U-bracket situation where you just mount it down, bolt it up good, get your angles out you know, to your points of delivery and just do some tweaking when you're done. But overall performance and coverage were spot on. With the CP Series 700 and 400 amplifiers, a nice feature is they're actually a two-channel amp, but they're individual channels. You can actually run them in a 70 volt and an 8 ohm uh, direct impedance situation for each channel independently. In this situation here with the H Series horns, we actually ran everything in a direct impedance situation for full coverage. Uh, if we come back at a later date and need a little bit more coverage and some, if there happened to be a week or an extra area they covered, we could actually adapt with the 700 and the 400 series and we could individually change one of the two channels to a 70 volt from an 8 ohm. So it's actually, you know, each one is a two channel, fully independent amplifier in one chassis. With the CP400 and the CP700 being so heavy, they make a loader rack from Atlas that you can slide in, click in, set the amp on there, screw it in, and pull the loader rack back out. It makes life easy. Another challenge of this when you have a press box in a traditional football or stadium scenario, uh, to get the sound directly down in front of the press box, even with the stadium horns and as great coverage as they do, you cannot get them directly down in front, straight down the wall. So we actually used the SM82s and got some local direct sound into those uh, open areas that we needed to cover. With the CP400 or 700, we were able to actually use a channel independently for that. And then with the Blue Bridge 44, we were able to take a separate output to the 82s, which allowed us to get a lower level to those to balance them into the higher volume system as a whole. In this actual application here, we didn't need a ton of inputs and outputs, so we are able to get by with a really simple Blue Bridge 44, which is a four input, four output. Uh, allowed us to get the channels and amplification we needed to direct in different directions and control. Uh, it was a great fit for this job. Basically from the start with the design and setup with Atlas actually coming in to help out with us and give us all the guidance that we needed for any extra support on engineering and specifications. We were able to actually, you know, design the whole system with Atlas IED down to the, from the Blue Bridge to the actual rack itself, um, the amplifiers, obviously the interface, the cabling, everything was able to be a one-stop shop and we also had the support to go with that on the bid process and actually design and finish. We are the pretzels. Uh, we'll twist you up. <laughs>